Polly passed in 2009, and um, right before she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, um, she and I were training to do our first marathon. And the marathon was the Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C. And so we were doing tempo runs, we were on a training program, and one day we were doing a tempo run, and she was a pretty hardy runner. She didn't, you know, if we were gonna do a tempo run, she was gonna finish it. And I remember she seemed kind of weak to me that day, which surprised me, but, because she, she was so tough. My mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer right as I was headed off to college to Austin from New Mexico and uh, she was supposed to come on the sort of visit weekend uh, during the fall to come see the university and move me in and all that stuff and right around that time she got very sick with a what we thought was a stomach issue and we weren't quite sure. We later found out that she was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. My mom was the best and um, she was originally from Wisconsin and uh, ultimately ended up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, raised me and my two other brothers, and um, she was everything for us. And they gave her three months to live. And when you get that call from just for someone you love, it's, it's, really, it's really the most world-changing call you'll ever get. And we were supposed to do some activity and I just sat in the car and cried for three or four hours. It was just brutal. And that's, that's very typical for everyone that we've met over the years that have had to deal with this disease from a loved one. When we started Polly's Run, we wanted to, you know, honor my mom, um, but also, uh, give a voice to something that, that needed it. And it has grown every year. I think seeing the people come back year after year, you know, sometimes tragically it's, you know, they're coming during the, the fight against cancer for their friend, family member, and then that family member who passes away, they'll keep coming back in order to honor their memory, keep raising funds to fight the disease. And the race has really just become something that, it started as this just informal family thing, and now it's it's its own thing that I believe will carry on for years and years, and really, at least in our opinion, become a part of the Albuquerque community in a way that's just so exciting. When we go to UNM Cancer Center to deliver the check, um, it's always a time to reflect and realize that we have uh, made a contribution in New Mexico and hopefully um, it'll make a difference in the long run. You know, the money that we raise each year for the race, it'll take time to accumulate, but I feel like at some point we'll have an endo endowment in Polly's name and someday we'll be able to look back and her grandchildren will be able to carry on this legacy. We have to continue to fight pancreatic cancer. Polly's run needs to happen every year. We need to continue the momentum. We have to push, we have to push each other to participate and, and be inspired to continue to carry this, this torch and raise as much money as we can because it's really important that we don't lose our momentum and, and lose donations to the UNM Comprehensive Cancer Center because every dollar counts. And, it is extremely important for the Cancer Center to receive those funds on a yearly basis so we can eventually say that we beat pancreatic cancer sometime.